All right, guys, back with a few small Puerto Rican PC editions. I say small because they were all like under five bucks. I think one of them might have been like right at five bucks or five and change. Anyway, let's get started. Should be a pretty quick video. Starting with some guys who are really not playing well early in the season. You got Javi Baez on this green shiny number to 499. Not sure what the actual name is on that, but doesn't matter. Just like the way it looks, so picked it up. You got another Baez from last year, but they're from different sets. The green one was from the update set. This one was from series two. The orange at a 299. So different images on those. This one I actually picked up a while ago, but couldn't remember if I had showed it or not. The same deal with this one. I had picked it up months ago, but couldn't remember if I ever put it on a video. This one's Carlos Correa with Byron Buxton. The red sparkly number to 199. Here's another guy who's really been struggling early in the year. Already dropped him from my fantasy team. But didn't drop him from my collection though. Won't do that. But Jose Barrios, number to 75. I think this might be from one of those different Topps Chrome products they put out. Again, it doesn't really matter. Just like the card, so picked it up. I know a lot of people hate all these different colors and numbered parallels and all that but you're not obligated to buy all of them and just find two or three colors or patterns that you like and buy those it's what i do again there's no rule that says that you have to complete every rainbow for every player that you like but you would think there is with how much people complain about stuff like this and here are a few more burritos with the same image but these are from the regular tops so there's the red sparkly number to 199 and the orange and again these I had picked up a while ago but yet again couldn't remember if I showed them or not so figured I'd throw them in this video that's at a 299 so again definitely not working on this rainbow but if I happen to find a few nice ones for a buck or two then I'll grab them next up is a Emmanuel Rivera blue rookie auto he was the third baseman for puerto rico in the wbc he's now in the arizona diamondback system that's number to 150. but yeah i like the way that looked with the blue kansas city uniform the blue border blue signature so again not really looking for any more colors on this but i like the way that one looked so picked it up here are a few from some older products. Here's this Javier Vasquez from 06 Top Chrome. This one actually is not new at all, but this was in the new pile because I had just recently top loaded it. I've been removing some stuff like this from the binders and top loading it. That's number to 549. So I just took it out of the top loader for this video, but we'll put it right back in there after the video. And this one I actually got today not sure when i'm going to upload this but we'll just say this is the newest edition felipe lopez 03 donruss season stat line number to just 15. so the way they would do these they would pick a stat category from the previous year and they would number the card to that stat number so for him they picked doubles so he hit 15 doubles the previous year so that's why that's numbered to just 15. Got that very cheap too because he didn't really pan out the way people said he would. And these last two are not really shiny but still some nice additions to the Puerto Rican collection. Got this Roberto Perez printing plate. Got that very cheap for like three or four bucks. Which I know a lot of people don't like printing plates but Still to be able to get a one of one for my PRPC. That cheap, I'll do that any day. And last one, just a nice looking 
Carlos Delgado patch. Nice thick two color patch. Which initially I thought that would have been numbered, but it was not. But still, nice looking card there. And so that's it, just a few quick additions there. I have some other stuff that I purchased from YouTube auctions and some more eBay stuff, so might make some videos for that stuff soon. But I don't know, honestly, I haven't been really feeling the YouTube thing lately. Kind of getting bored with my own channel, I guess, but we'll see. If anything, maybe I'll do another Yankee video soon, so talk to you guys next time.